In this video, we'll be going over the memorization approach of climbing stairs. This is part two of the four part series. So let's first go to our thought process. In the recursive approach, the recursive solution is very inefficient due to overlapping recursive calls. We can avoid overlapping recursive calls using memorization. Now, what do we need to cache? In each of the recursive call, we are trying to find the total number of distinct ways at the current value n. This means we can cache n with ways. Now let's go do a pseudocode. This pseudocode was, was bringing over from the recursive approach and we're gonna optimize it. So we're gonna create, create an array emo to cache previously calculated results. So the indices represents n and the values represents ways. Then we will implement the top-down memorization approach. And then we'll pass in a parameter memo is the cache. And if memo n is not equal to zero, this means we have already calculated the result for n. So we'll return memo n and we'll cache the total number of ways at memo and then we'll return the results. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So in this case, the time complexity is equal to O of n, where n is the input value. And the O of n is because there is n possible states or n possible states of recursive calls. And then our space complexity is go to it's also O of n, but it's going to be O of n plus O of n. This is the memo array and then the recursive call stack memory. Now let's go do the code. We're going to create our array. So we're going to first create our helper method to perform our recursive calls. Create our new array to cache previously calculated results. So it's n plus 1 because we need 0 to n. And if memo n is not equal to 0, we have, we have already calculated the results for this n. So we return memo n. Then we're going to cache the results. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.